All right, so this is going to be session nine, actually. Um, so, Desiree, do you want to roll in as someone's conscience, or do you not want to worry about it because you said you were going to leave a bit earlier? If you roll in as someone's conscience, what means is that you get to give them, if you notice things that you think they don't, if you um, have ideas that you want to contribute, then you get to tell them as if you are their conscience speaking to them. No. Okay, then. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, last time when we left off, you all finished speaking with the Lord Commander. Um, <clears throat> you revealed that you had purchased several of the blue stones, and, um, he told you after some hypotheticals were posed that people really don't purchase tunnels, uh, to mine in Giron, but they did used to rent the tunnel or small plot of land around the mine, and that the city of White Flag still kind of does that, even now. They'll sometimes rent the land around the mine. Um, and at that point, they're actually allowed to lay claim to whatever they find. Um, you, he asks that you destroy the stones, or simply find out what is causing them to get out to everyone and stop them. Um, you also had an epiphany about Jeb and Calum, and asked him about the money lenders in the city. And he directed you towards the mint, and the essentially the money house, and told you that Lydia was the overseer there. Um, <clears throat> afterwards, you went back to the farm where Safine, um, finally in a moment of cleric communication, uh, spoke with her gods, and... <laughs> was able to ask them three questions. She learned that this is much bigger than you all and that the gods are directly involved and essentially at war. Um, getting yes and no questions was a bit difficult from the ravens that were sent to speak with her, but it seemed to clear some things up. Um, you then went to the uh, moneylender and spoke with Lydia, who revealed that they have been receiving a few shipments here and there of these blue stones that you all have found, but they are imported under the name Sparkling Segvite, and you insisted that there was something harmful to them, whether it was a toxic substance, that the stones themselves were enchanted, and she agreed she agreed to put a halt on imports of these stones. Um, outside, you uh, met a purple tiefling named Skamos, who mentioned that his cousin Fiona runs the Light's Mend, and that he would put in a good wood for you, um, should you need any reason to go and speak with her. Um, meanwhile, Safine and Remember went to the archivist, and you met the half elizen gentleman caretaker named half Elazar. Elf. Yeah, half elf. <laughs> Sorry, my brain is... <laughs> I've been playing that for lots of hours. <laughs> the half elf gentleman named Elazar, who, um, who takes care of this enormous tower that is just filled to bursting with books. And while Safine went ahead and started pouring through these old tomes, Remember found some really lovely books to help her start learning how to read the common tongue of the world. Um, and Safine did come across some knowledge of the Battle of Betrayal that you all weren't really aware of before, and that it was actually recorded that it wasn't just people who were betrayed in that day, it was the gods themselves. So after all of this has gone on, you decided that you needed to get a little bit more money. And you recruited Harry to come with you <coughs> into the caves to clear them out. And initially, um, even Harry expressed his confusion and concern when the first cavern that you entered was very small and had little more than a puddle at the back. But after killing a few piercers, who fell from the ceiling, um, you managed to clear out a collapsed tunnel 
um, of water and venture deeper into the mines. And you really haven't come across anything too bad. It's musty and it clearly hasn't been used in a while. Um, but you decided to kind of bunker down for a little bit in this room over here and take a rest. And, and that is where we are now. So you guys have taken your short rest. Please take that into account for health points that you've had to get back for anything like that. And <laughs> on we go. I didn't need to restore my health points, so I used my hit dice for spell slots. All right. Wow, magic is great. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't do any of those things. It's not safe to stay in one place too long. We should move along. Have we been collecting the heads of the things we've been killing? Have we been killing? Yeah, we have. <laughs> okay. Cause yeah, I think we kept we money per head. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, the yeah, we chopped them off. Uh, what are they called? The piercers. Piercers. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, I have six written down. Where do I add a... Uh... Okay, cool. What the heck? Where is it? We're in 11, you said? Yes. You're, you're in 11. Ah. You're in 11, yeah. 11. Can I get my books? Where did you... Oh, there we go. Which one had the hatch to the forest? Uh, that was quite a few rooms ago. It was just off of this one here. Now, <clears throat> one thing that I don't think I stressed last time is that you are in a cave. So, those of you with dark vision are able to see, and those of you with uh, torch are able to see. So, I don't have dark vision, actually. I have to use this key. So you have it. Well, there's no point in that, but so let's just create... No, we have a torch. We've yeah, been using a torch. torch. Oh, okay. So, into eight and down another level, or back to five? <coughs> um, well, I feel like we could hit five on our way out. Yeah, so into eight and down. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Final answer. Too late. Here we go. All right. So you guys go ahead and you venture back through the room into the room and you decide to head down and as you do, it's definitely a descent. Um, let me get down there. It's definitely a descent and your feet are the only thing that you're really able to hear as you plod down. Um, and they kind of crunch in the stone. Harry is at the back keeping an eye out behind you. Um, and he's seeming more and more concerned as you delve deeper and deeper. But he isn't quite saying anything. Until I need all of you to roll perception. Oh, man. Oh, man. Um, as you all are walking down, Safine and Angarod, you notice that the ground and walls reflect the light of the torch that you're carrying with you, um, in a bit of an odd way, and who rolled the 19th? Me. You notice that it reflects very similarly to the webbing outside, um, from that hideous spider you guys killed and oh, that's then the you the just trees. managed to like step around this patch of webbing on the ground that Temzin just stumbles right into. Temzin I need you to roll a d4 please because your feet get tripped up in this very sticky tacky web and you fall and take how much damage? Two. You take two damage as you just like fall right into the wall. But 
you guys get into this room without any trouble. However, you hear fluttering, leathery fluttering noise oh, in the room. Can we see anything with a torchlight, or can we see anything with a dark? How feet? big is this chamber? Like, how the, tall is it? It is. It's about sixteen feet tall. Okay. Remember, puts one arm up with the torch and starts waving it around. Yeah, you see a bunch of bats, oh. and as you wave the torch around, the heat from your torch and the light from it, they start really fluttering, and all of their little beady eyes open up, Bam. and they start making those noises. Yeah, somebody do like a charm animal something so we don't kill a bunch of bats. God, I wish I could. I don't want to kill a bunch of bats. Yeah. Yeah. And I try persuading the bats. <laughs> they haven't attacked you or anything. They're just the they're there. They haven't attacked us yet. Is there anything in the room? No, this room is this room is pretty bare. That's something that's definitely of note for all of the rooms that you've gone through. Is that except for that room with the hatch leading outside, pretty much all of them are almost picked clean. There's there aren't any rats. The bats are the only things that you can see so far. Part of me just wants to go collect our bounty and not peruse any further. Like, this is where the plot is. Are we sure? No, there's no this plot is, in anything. This is, is, the bounty board is no plot. Plotless. Yeah, the bounty board Plotless. does not direct you. Because you wanted to go fight things. No. I have the recording. I can play it. <laughs> um. So... Nothing in there. I, w I wonder if they'll pay us for every bat head. I believe uh, you did find money in one of the rooms? Yeah, we found like 15 silver pieces that got us to the party. Where's your sense of adventure? Why are we talking about going back? We've made absolutely no money yet. We continue onwards. We haven't found anything of worth in these caves yet. How many pierces did we kill? Six. six. And how much are we getting per head? Hold on. I need 100. That's no, only a thing of 600. That's not even enough to split the money stuff. We continue onward. There's more than that. Have yeah, that's what I have to stab thinking. anything in four <laughs> sessions, y'all. That's all I do. I, let's let us continue on with. I see no reason to turn back at this point. I am not exhausted, and unless anyone else is, I do not see a reason. To... One of like one rest, of the bats yeah. one of the bats starts to like move around and chatter a little louder. Can I charm the bat and make it my pet? Do you have? Oh, a, it is a hunter I have. Do you have a charm spell? Oh uh, yeah. I have spells, I have fire. <laughs> However, I have a plus zero to animal handling. I mean, that is a you thing you've got. I want a bat. Um, Do you want to try, like, jumping room? up and grabbing it? Yeah, there's, yeah, <laughs> see the pathway? So you're in this room here. Okay, can we continue on? So you see, so as you entered into this room, you see the same tacky webbing that's on the floor is over this hole in the door as well. Remember, lights it on fire! With a torch. Yep. Alright, so you go ahead and you set this webbing on fire and it starts, the fire starts to crawl all the way down this tunnel. Nice. Uh, okay. And you can dimly see a room beyond. Right. As the web fire just S crackles and Yep. It Can just... we safely pass through to the next room? You didn't see anything in the tunnel. Oh, well, I meant the fire went out, basically. Yeah, okay. like, the fire went ahead of you. It wasn't a lot. It wasn't, like, yeah, this yeah. blazing inferno or anything. Okay. It just kind of, kind of All like the hair. Yeah. Kind of, it just went up and died. Cool. You guys see okay. into the next room? Yes. Yeah. All right. Really All right. The next room. This room is bigger than the last, and Harry keeps glancing over his shoulder. The bats have clearly made him a bit more uncomfortable than he'd like to admit. And he, <clears throat> I'm just gonna keep a watch. And if you don't come out, I'll make sure you aren't dead and I'll do my job. And he, like, takes up post at the doorway. Harry, this is no more weird than anything else we've ever asked you to do. Why are you so nervous? Yes, this is hardly the weirdest thing we've asked you to come into with us. Well, it's dark. And we keep going down. They have a torch, Harry! It's a torch! You can see the entire room. You can! And he, like, glances 
into the dark doorway of the room beyond. You've got the four of us here with you. You haven't died yet. We fought the Manticore one. Can I shove Harry through the doorway? You want to shove Harry through? No, yeah. remember to get a catch. <laughs> you gotta make a Yeah, go save. ahead. Both of you roll against each other. What am I rolling? Uh, just a twenty. Is that dex? And no, just straight roll. Uh-huh. See who beats who. That's the Fourteen. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Safine, unfortunately, is too quick, and you don't quite realize what she's doing. It almost looks like she was about to like. Just friendly pat on the shoulder and, like, reassure him. And instead, she just shoves. <clears throat> and Harry, torchless Harry, yelps and goes flying into the room beyond. Oh, I'm <laughs> in there with the torch. What the fuck? No, he was like in the next the room. She just shoved him through. Remember, jumps into the tunnel after him. Which room? You're now in this room. And she he, she just shoved him down yeah, there. Oh, the there's <laughs> nothing in that second room? Just well, more of the webbing. <laughs> There's nothing yet, no, nothing nice in there? There's, no, there's... Just a big empty room. One of the things you have to remember is that this is, as far as you are aware, this was a used mine. Yeah. This was something that people would come in and, you know, they so do I mean, their there's work. there's nothing and... like lockers or tables or anything. No, there's okay. nothing that's like work equipment. Alright, we're going to the next room. Okay. Unfazed by Harry being sacrificed in the darkness. Where did it go? There it is. So you you guys all rush in after Harry, and Harry is frozen and terrified and covered in spiders, (laughs) and he's sitting stuck in this webbing on the floor, and that you can see now is over one of the doorways. There's just webbing kind of spilling out of the doorway, up the wall, over the ceiling. And Harry is tangled up in this. And he is not moving, and he is staring at you all, and he's just... He's just boy. very still. Do either of you have and anything he, to confront And he glares from at Safine. My beautiful boy. Do either of you have anything to protect someone from fire? Uh, I have things that can make fire. That's not what I would I used Dalmaturgy to blow a gust of wind at him to see if that helps. Blows the spiders off him? Yeah. It's just a little spider web. A couple. No, it's spiders. Oh, it's spiders. It's spiders. Um, you fear your spooky creature. Yeah, I'll help with press the digitation. I'll make little puffs of wind to help. Yeah. You're fine. Well, okay. At least it's not a manticore in the ring. <laughs> and you successfully managed to, like, blow the little spiders off of Harry, and he still just sits there, and then he very slowly gets up and brushes the web off. He picks it off of his clothes, and he walks over to you, Safine, and he just sets a ball of webbing in your hands, and he's like, I think I'll wait at the door. For me, you shouldn't have. And he goes, and he, he just walks back up into the room and you can hear him like with a little flint and steel trying to make a fire for himself in this dark cave. My poor beautiful boy. I love him. Do I have apples left? Hold on. Let me find out if I have apples left. So we have two exits out of this room. You do. Nothing in here except the spiders. Just the spiders and the webbing. I set the web on fire and see where it goes. Yeah. Everyone Honestly. step back in the room. I can go ahead and clear the path for us. Hold on, I'm gonna find out if I have apples left to give to our poor sweet boys. Okay, so are well, you going? Yeah, we're gonna burn out the web. <laughs> are you going south or are you going to do that east? Just burn the web in the room can, and see where the fire goes. I can do both, to be honest. So okay. I want to clear the room first. Mm-hmm. And get the webbing and the spiders out of the room. And then I'll clear both tunnels afterwards with firebolt. Okay. So, just the same as with the torch, your fire shoots forth and it catches on the webs and it just goes up very quickly and the room is lit a lot, a lot brighter um, and it spreads very quickly over the webbing that's on the floor and over the ceiling um, and you can see it light up a room beyond. And, yeah. And you also see... A room beyond there, and you actually see movement Very in the guys. room to the south. That's where the good shit is. Okay. is all the game. 
Can I tell just from looking from the top that there's no secondary exit from that room? From what you can glance, because it was a very brief flash of light that traveled along. Is there something down in this room down here? I do not know what it is, but uh, remember, do you want to go to? Let us go find out. Remember to go first. first. Apparently he's gone, because I punch one thing. And I'll go right behind her another. We've talked. And then I'll go right behind. And I'll go into that. So as you enter in (coughs) to this room, yes, that's that one. As you enter into this room, um, you see a man covering his eyes. A man. man. And at this flash of light, you clearly blinded him. Whoops. Um, And he is dressed, are you okay, Sierra? Okay. He's dressed in torn clothes, dirty clothes. He has some very obvious spider bites on him Aww. that have swollen up and are oozing. Um, and when he gets finished blinking away this blinding from this flash of light that came through, he looks at you all and he immediately pulls his blade. He immediately pulls a blade out. Bruh. Okay, first thing first, when we walked into a cave and there was a random man standing there, remember how, like, a PTSD flashback when she almost died via necromancer? <laughs> she's already <laughs> on edge. I would like to, um, this is just, like, a rando dude. He's not a soldier, right? He doesn't look like it, no. Could I do some kind of strength check to try to just disarm this fool? Because he's very clearly not trained. Yes, and you would absolutely have, um, advantage on that okay. because he was okay. blinded. Yeah. Blinded, the blind. blind. They might know it. Yes. It's a 9 plus a 3. That's a 12, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I rolled a 12. But advantage, advantage right? Advantage, yeah. Thank God. Guess what? Hmm. It is now an 11, so we're gonna go with the 12. <laughs> Alright. Uh, oh, damn. You wanted to disarm him, you were saying? Yeah. Or, like, knock the knife out of his hands, or, like... Could I assist? With my um, martial skills. You probably wouldn't have been aware of what she was doing. Okay. Yeah. My first yeah, you absolutely one. knocked that out of his oh, hand. Yeah. So okay. he is still blinking away this blinding light um, when you knock the blade out of his hands. And he just kind of, he frantically goes for it again. And he's like, what? Who are you? What are you, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? We found you in this cave. I I asked you first. Okay, I would like to now make an intimidation check because I am very large and I just snatched the knife out of his hands and I would like to make this man scared of me. Go for it. Okay. Perfect. That's a... 17. <clears throat> yeah, he, he just kind of, he just kind of like... She doesn't even say anything. She just starts walking toward him, like, with purpose. And he, no, 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 it's, it's fine, it's fine. I was just, I was trying to leave. I was trying to leave. Is it that way? And he just kind of, it's like, oh, that's where the door, can I get a well, torch? Uh, h- how long have you been down here? Uh, I don't, I don't know. It's pretty dark and I'm pretty hungry, so. D- well, we, we don't mean you any harm. Do I have any rations on me? <laughs> Why are you giving your rash people to knife on us? Why, why are you here, my friend? My friend, what's going to be done here? This is the one dude you don't want to murder. This is the well, I saw the hatch and I came down and this I figured maybe too. someone forgot something. It's. I'll. It's the fine. Hatch. And he keeps, like, glancing Wait, over. Can I, is he, can I roll inside to see if I believe him? Yep. Yeah. This is always an unintentional roll. Most we've ever rolled. <laughs> You you know what, you you are absolutely charmed by this gentleman. This random ass dirty man down in the caves. He's so charming. And you you're you should let him go. (laughs) He pulled the knife on he pulled the knife on us. I think he obviously is telling the truth. He like means no harm to us. I think He He hasn't told us anything. What are you doing down here? I thought that someone maybe forgot something of value down here. I don't know. People used to come camp down here when they were traveling. So you were looking for for gold to take? For anything of value, but it's fine. And he keeps, like, 
putting his hands up and like backing away from remembering. He's like, it's it's fine. It's fine. This is, like, like, he's, is he human? He's a, he's just what, what this is human name? guy, what? medium height. He's just. Seems Ted. <laughs> Would you like? Where's where's your friend? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm. I'm Mal. It's nice to meet you all. I'm just gonna. You know what? You can keep the knife. You can keep. It's yours. <laughs> <I'm sick. laughs> it's yours, and it's it's not like it's a fancy knife either. Like this thing has seen oh, yeah, some use. <laughs> <laughs> Now, how, how, do you, how do you know your way around down here? Well, I don't because it's been kind of dark. Um, I was just... So you've never been down here before? Not this deep, no. Listen, there's two ways I see this going. Remember's like not even looking at him anymore, she's looking at everybody else. We let him go and he fucking kills Harry. We keep him with us and he backstabs us. I don't see any way of this going well. What? Assuming he, in, I'm sorry. <laughs> Assuming he means us harm, you don't mean us harm, right? Nope, no harm, what? no harm. Oh, Y'all wanna try this? <laughs> can, can I like just go like pat him down, make sure he has no weapons on him with like my sleight of hands? You just go up to him and start patting him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like stealthy. It's not like, even I mean, no. It's not, not stealthy. Not stealthy. But it's I not, have sleight of hand, so can I just like? It's not sleight of hand to like go up to him and start like patting him down. Okay. Oh, well, either way, can I just like? Yeah, do an investigation check. check. Okay, okay. I don't have good advantage on that or anything. I'm not what what that or... <sighs> no. Freaking five. Freaking what is with my rolls? That's okay, my first, like, six or four. Yeah, it's just not You don't, you don't yeah. find anything on him. Well, I think he's clean. <laughs> he's got two of us with bad rolls right now. Remember, he's gonna, like, holler back, Harry, can you come back down here for a second? I will keep Safine very far away from you. Okay! <laughs> he, like, comes back down, and he's got his sword, and he's like, Huh. Who's this? We don't know, but I don't want you up there by yourself when we let him go. So here's what we're going to do. And remember, he's going to grab a like stick out of her pack mm -hmm. that is not a torch, and like the stick on fire and give it to the man, and then push him towards the entrance to go back up. He bolts. Okay, good. You hear him like hollering as he steps through the web, and he's like, "God, this fucking ah!" Oh! And he like goes back up. Same. And you can see the light of his stick, like, fading as the stick is burning, and you hear him yell, SHIT! And then you hear the bats flying after him, it's, he's having a bad time all of a sudden. Come back and us in the air. He just goes running up through the caves. Alright, there you go. <laughs> oh, now you want to all right, so Harry like did, looks around did, at you guys really and he just, just <laughs> <laughs> like, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What happened? <laughs> so you guys go ahead and you watch Mal go running up through the caves. Bye, Mal. Well, I really hope he doesn't have this place lined morning. with TNG. It was very nice to meet you. Goodbye. <laughs> I was gonna give you a ration, but. That's fine. Remember, she's like, the one that don't want to kill him. <laughs> and she's like doing this as she's lighting the rest of the web like on fire, moving through the room. Okay. So you go ahead There's and. In this room. There was not other than Mal. You can see like Man. where his hands have been like scrabbling around and trying to like figure out exactly which way he's supposed to be going. And later we find out that Mal is an animorph and he was a king spider the entire time. <laughs> God, if only I'd thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys go ahead and you watch the web just go whoosh, right on down Is there this any tunnel. Other exits or entrances for this? Oh, no, wait. This, you were in. Yeah, we're in there. You were in the dead end room. Never mind. Yeah. You, oh. you just have webbing go up, and that's it. How did that we not tell somebody went down this way? You said there was a latch somewhere. Yeah, it's further up. We found oh, the one that we came through. Not the one we came through, but there's I mean, a latch into the forest somewhere. Well, we found one. Yeah, you guys found a hatch. It wasn't that one that he came through, because that was like... There's a bunch of earth on top of that one still. Um, there wasn't a bunch of earth. There was... It okay. was like... Just... Somebody came through. Disguised, kind of. Okay. Like, you need to know it was there to find it. Alright, 
Alright, we're going back to the other room? Yep. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so you tromp back up into this room here. And then, what do you do? You go back? Yeah, down. Keep going down. Alright, you tromp back. You tromp down. And as you tromp down the stairs, it gets stickier and stickier. Your movements are slowed. Web tangles around your feet. Firebolt. You ready, Firebolt, or you cast Firebolt? I'm going to move to the front of the party and tell everybody, hold on for a second, and then I'm going to cast Firebolt. You cast this Firebolt, Fireball, Firebolt, Firebolt. and... You see the room light up for a second, and you can see eyes oh, good. glittering all over the place. And then as the webbing catches and just as quickly dies, you see a puddle of something green and viscous also light up oh, and good. die. And then just as the fire goes out, you see almost a dozen big shimmery eyes like open in the dark. If she hates him, she wants us to kill him. I love this just substances. Okay, basic strategy. This right now, what we are sitting at the tunnel is the choke point of the tunnel. The thing has to come out, and we are meeting it here. If we get in the tunnel, we will be inside the choke point. We don't get inside the tunnel. We stay out here. Wait, do they have any reason to come to us? No. Oh. I don't give them a reason to come I mean, to us. you just threw fire at them. I feel like that would piss them off. Are they coming towards us at all? You do hear skittering. Oh, good. Okay. I'm well, um, I only have a crossbow, and I have to punch things otherwise. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Basic shot on them. So this is how it is going to work. We will stay up here at the top. Everybody will use long-range weapons, or whatever they have that they can stand back and fire at the hole. Once they get outside of the hole and into this room, that is when you begin using your melee, your melee attacks. Yes. As you are talking and conveying all of this, I ready my crossbow. Half a dozen small spiders come skittering up. Not quite a swarm, but there's quite a few like, of them. This big? No, we're talking like this big. Like talking a palm. <laughs> like palm size. Do you have any long range? Bigger than a... <laughs> yeah. I mean, this okay. This did not work out very good when we were in the tunnel I last time with all those. Send another <clears throat> firebolt down and clear these guys out, but then we don't get a hundred gold ahead for them. How are we gonna get the hell off a spider? <laughs> Just take the whole damn spider. I already have a jar of spiders. <laughs> So, like, do you want me to just clear it out, or are we going to try for preserving the bodies? Well, we might as well just, they're not going to want to pay us 100 gold for a spider. Not for little spiders. Yeah. Firebolt! Okay. You go ahead and... <coughs> you have to roll for that one to hit, right? Yeah. That's another target. Okay. Point of order. The description on this one, you hurl a modifier at a creature or object within range... Make a ranged spell attack. On a hit, the target takes 1d10 fire damage. A flammable object hit by this spell ignites if it isn't being worn or carried. I don't know if I could hit more than one of them at once. What? But, like, with a this spell. real, actual, tiny spider and not a magic spider isn't necessarily, like, a creature you can fight. Yeah, but just, like, putting, throwing it out there, this spell is intended for use against one thing. It's more like an area effect. Like, there are spiders in this square foot. But it's not like each of these 800 spiders is going to attack you. I mean, I'll still roll for it. I'll still, like... But at the discretion of the DM, I just wanted to be... Um... Roll a... Roll a d8 to see how many you hit. And then... And roll to hit. So... Okay. Roll to hit. Roll for how many. And roll for damage. Mm-hmm. You get to roll three times. Okay. D10. For... To hit... Hmm? Wait, no. D20 to hit. Lord. I haven't played in a while. Uh-huh. That's an 11? Um, yeah, you hit those. Rat. Okay, and then D8 for how many? Mm-hmm. Two of them. Okay, so your fire goes ahead and hits two of them, and now I need everyone to roll initiative. Yay. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Everything's fine. I think I'm on balance. Should we get another one? Yeah. Do I, do you want, can Wait. I have my initiative? 
bonus to it? I rolled a one. Yeah, Probably you not. roll your you roll your initiative bonus to initiative. Six. It's okay, I got okay. four. Okay. But did you roll a natural what, do one? Do you want do you want some tea or something, Sierra? Yeah. Do you think you might want to sleep? <coughs> Alright. <clears throat> Sveen got 16. Enemy got 19. Oof. Who was next in that order? Uh, 21. Oh. You are up here. And remember, what did you have? Five. What did Tempest? Six, but it was in that one. Alright. <clears throat> Guys, go here. Alright, so you venture down into the cave as you go past these spiders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not venture no, down into the cave. Oh no, that's right, you're in the choke point. Yeah, we're staying at a choke <laughs> You're in. We are not getting in that choke point. being strategic. Good job. I'm proud of you. So, in the tunnel, y'all go ahead and roast two spiders. Yeah. Um, Angerod, you're first in the initiative order. What is this? Peach. Okay. Oh, peach good. Right. Hmm? Is peach tea good? They broke. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. Peach tea. Right. Yeah. I need you to roll a d6 now, please. Yeah, peach tea. For how yeah, many you hit. There's also a peach wine. Oh, okay. I'll roll to hit first. Mm-hmm. God. Shit. Okay. Oh, awful. Uh, ten. To hit. A ten to hit? You do not hit. That was fun. Okay. Um, the spiders go for you. Tight. Tight, 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 tight. tight. You rolled a ten. No. <laughs> so the spiders go biting for you and instead only manage to like land a couple bites on your shoes. They don't really actually get you. These were especially designed. Yo, peach key lemonade is on point. Good. Okay. Uh, next is Safine. Oh, I broke these nice. shoes for Mad God, how <laughs> dare you! Do you want me to go get the cough drops I have in my car? No, it's okay. Uh, I'm going to use... Oh, spiritual weapon. Okay. Absolutely hits. Mm-hmm. And roll right, six to see how many you hit. Okay, and now roll for damage. Okay. Seven. You go ahead and roast the spiders. And they kind of shrivel up and you squish them. I'm sorry. You just hear a loud crunch splat as your hammer swings down and squelches a couple of them. <laughs> is that the face that Venus making right now? Alright, uh, Tamsin, your turn. What are you doing? <laughs> What? What are you, what are you gonna oh, do? crossbow. Sorry, I mean, I should have. <laughs> You're okay. shooting a crossbow at the little fighting on the floor? Yeah, <laughs> I got us. What else are we gonna do? 19. They, that definitely hits. Um, do I roll for how many? Uh, roll a d4 for how many you hit? He's just that cool. Well, that's gonna go inside. Two. Just pin two to the ground. Damage. And I do... Like a loss, I don't know. Way more than this. Oh, okay, not six. Damage. Yeah. You go ahead and just spear the spiders, and they kind of twitch around the shaft of the arrow for a second before they curl around it. Nice. And now you just have one little spider running around, remember? Let me... Can I... Hear me out. <laughs> Step on it. Okay, what do I need to... I'm retrieving that uh, class roll... bolt when we're done. Roll dex to see if you're able to, like, actually step on it. Because okay. it's, like, running around like spider do. 
You're very <laughs> like big spider and small. Dude. I got a six. No, <laughs> you miss the spider as it's like it's just kind of bolting around. Did um, Tamsin break initiative and stuff on it? <laughs> no. <laughs> You cannot break it. It's like, I've got a really nice dexterity bonus. Action surge. Hold on. No, oh my god, you're not. You're gonna use your action surge right now on- Fucking what? Bro. I want to very badly. I know it's a little- I'm rolling really badly anyway. One fire. I know. Guys, I've rolled three- three ones tonight so far. Ew. Alright, I won't use action surge, so I'll just be done. Okay. Doing things. So, who's at the front of the party again? Probably me. Okay. Because I was clearing the path. How's it going? It's going. Okay, um... 11 would miss. Um, you see just this white blur zip past your head and smack onto the wall, and you see just the same webbing that you've been walking through is now on the wall and the floor. Spider Man in this room? And it came from the cavern beyond. Gross. Not the one spider that's left from the cavern itself. Mm-hmm. Uh, From the big boy. Yeah, the big boy with twelve eyes. We got a big boy. That's a big. Okay. Big old boy. Angerod, it is now your turn. Okay. I still need to like step on the one spider. Can I like go on fireball? Go for it. Send a fireball into the next room where the big spiders. I don't have to see him to target it though. Ah. Uh, I think. Can I... Ah, oh, you got it. Knowing where... What? Nothing. Keep going. Mm. Keep going. Knowing where Keep I last saw it. the big thing and where the shot came from, can I target down there with Firebolt? You're still shooting into the dark? So, but I'm not... Because it just fired, like, just tried to attack, I'm not going to make you roll disadvantage. <clears throat> so you can roll to try to hit, but... That does not hit. Okay. Your fire goes off into the dark, and it does light some of the webbing that you see on the wall, um, giving you a very brief oh. glimpse into the room. Um, go ahead and actually passive perception would be Safine and Safine, Temzin, and Angerod would see that there are a few lumps in the cavern as well. Oh, no. So you see the large spider for a second, you see a few oh, lumps, so and then you see so those <laughs> green viscous, those green viscous puddles. And then the light dies out. It just blew Tanya free. And then the little spider tries again to bite bite and he does not he does not succeed. Safine, it is your turn. Okay, can I like creep closer to see into the cave? Do you have you said you have dark vision? Yeah. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> so, you go ahead and you would creep closer. How far does your dark vision see? Um, you can see into, like, about halfway. I think it's 60. 60 feet? Okay. So you can see the entirety of, you creep past Sangrod, you creep down this webbing, and as you do and you get closer, you can see that this enormous spider is at least 17, 18 feet tall. What? Ew. It is a massive cavern, and this is a massive spider. And it has turned its full attention towards you, because every but step you head. take, oh. it can sense Close. where you are exactly on the web. 
Remember, you want a pet spider? <laughs> yes, I do very much so. How big is it? It's 17 feet. Yes, perfect. Bring it on. <laughs> It actually looks slow next to you. Okay. Wait, did you, went, you went all the way down the tunnel, right? <coughs> she did. She went all the way down to the bottom. Can this spider fit through the... The doorway is definitely not 17 feet tall, but this is also a spider. I can, like, wriggle through there. It would... It would... <laughs> <laughs> it would definitely be able to fit down this large <laughs> tunnel. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna go guns blazing and send the guiding bolt. Okay. I guess we get in after. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, there's only one that one small spider, so I figure, hey, this thing knows I'm here. I might as well like go in guns blazing. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, so when you cast item, you were going to use your action, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to make a listen. Poison saving throw. Okay. It's 14. Roll the 2. Good. It's. Alright, now I need to roll the 6. I need so many d6s in my house. Which I'm pretty proud of taking this, but it's just the bell. It's a bell. I was like. I was like. 16 nice. damage. Okay. That's the way it started. Mm -hmm. And what can you read me the description for Guiding Bolt? <coughs> if you have it there? It's 120 feet. Um, I have next turn advantage, and uh, I used that level one, so that's all I got. Yeah. I have next turn advantage? That's cool. Yeah. And then um, if I cast that second level, I could have added another d6, but I did. Okay, so this thing roars back as it strikes, and as you have come further into the room, Safine, you're able to see now that what you at first thought were just these lumps are the same lar much larger egg pods that you saw burn, burn, out burn, in burn, the burn, forest. Burn, burn. And you can also see, with your perception of 14, you can see some movement on the ceiling. Right back. Mm. A bad time is what we're about to have, but think, so, think of the XP. I Visualize. I'll focus on the egg pods. Think about the money. Can we can bring back this card because it's a spider. You like, oh, I want 500 gold for this. Okay, so the important thing is that we're using fire to get rid of the web, but that we don't kill, like, we don't demonstrate them. We gotta take them back. We gotta take them back. <laughs> Like, prove that we killed those rats. <sighs> so we can get things. Yeah. I mean, like, I'm fire is my best thing. Well, yeah, because what we need to do is kill the webbing, because the webbing is how it's, like, finding us. Yeah, I'm gonna... Going yeah, you will, you will not be able to stealth up on this spider. It might be. But that's also one reason why I went ahead and started things a little earlier tonight. You take roughly a tablespoon. Everybody! Then take a shot of it. I had Sprite. You could have mixed it with Sprite. Alright. Um, go ahead and tell me where y'all are. I don't think anybody said no one Yeah. Oh, Hold on. What's going on here? I like this good, good spider that's got like three segments to the thorax. <laughs> it's a snowman. There we go. I should have logged in. Okay. Um, if you, if you, oh, I can be the spider. Do you want to go? You want to be the spider? What's the spider doing? The spider is going to try and kill the party. <laughs> Do you want to come be the spider? I want to be the spider. Come over here. <laughs> all right, players, tell me where you is. We're all still in the upper room because we haven't gone well, down yet, except for Safine. Okay, so Safine <coughs> is here. Because she just ran in. <laughs> this is roughly the entrance. <laughs> I'm going to be right at the, the crest of the entrance and the hall. Right there? Yeah. The water all right. is boiling. I'm welcome. <sighs> 
Um, remember what slide down and then run in front of Sabine. And immediately try to light the floor on fire. Alright. And Angrad's gonna go kind of off the side to the left and aim for an Igmon. Right there? Well, I've been able to get off right. a shot as I came in. Since I had it ready. You... Didn't tell me that you had it ready. Well, I, well when I'm in combat, the crossbow is already ready. Like, I fire, and I redraw, so I can fire on my no. next turn. No. Uh, that's not exactly how it works. How do crossbows work? When you're playing D&D, you gotta say if you've got something at the ready. Even if it's something that you would reload. Okay, well then, to clarify, for the rest of combat, <laughs> I'm holding my crossbow and my crossbolts, and I'm going to reload after All every right. shot. To clarify. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, Desiree, mm-hmm. here is the stats. This is how much health it has. Well, had. Yeah, that's it. That's not <laughs> It's not now, at least. Yes. Okay. So. That's plenty. This is. Strength, Dex, Constitution, Intelligence, Wisdom, and Charisma. I'll show you how that works when we have to roll. This is one of the attacks. Mm -hmm. This is the other attack. These are the stats that you can read in the book. So, you tell me where you'd like it to go, and I will make it happen. (laughs) (laughs) Sound good? Yeah! Alright, these are... I'll also let you roll. You get to pick... The blue dice, the orange dice, the gold dice, or the black dice. All right, Temzin, it is your turn now. Go ahead and I'm gonna shoot it with a crossbow. All right, go for it. Nineteen. That hits because it's nineteen. It's higher than this. It hits. Okay. All right. Eleven damage. Good lord! I have to change this for next time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you fire off a cross bolt between uh, Remember, Safine, and Angrod, and it sinks directly into the eye of this beast. And Lord. it scrabbles around, um, clawing for purchase. <coughs> So while it's scrabbling around, clawing for purchase, the web around it is shaking violently. And go ahead and give that one pause. Um, you hear crunching and cracking. And two of these pods burst open, and spiders begin to pour out. Point of order. Why are they being birthed at this exact moment? (laughs) Because I'm the DM, and I say so. That's not how nature works. This is... You can be 16 feet tall, and you want to tell me how nature works. How long do these spiders have been incubating? They're preemies, okay? Let them be preemies. (laughs) It don't matter. (laughs) I'm just saying, most animals evolve, have children, and hatch those children when environments are, like, you know, safe for them to exist in, not when people are trying to shoot at them. And then they feast on the bodies of their mother, but, you know. I'm just saying. Now is not an evolutionary advantage time to hatch. (laughs) This is just my fault. You said you wanted things to punch! (laughs) Got it! Wait, I got a bonus action? If I say I want to find a lot of gold, is that going to happen? (laughs) (laughs) Oh no, it would really suck if I just had a lot of gold on the ground right now. Alright. So... Magic 
So this is also cool. Oh, we need your monitor. It's here. Okay. And there are two of us. Okay. Cool. All right. So remember, you have your torch in one hand, um, and most of you have dark vision. So those of you with dark vision should be able to see these greenish puddles. They almost look like they're simmering. Alright. Remember, it's your turn. I'm going to throw the torch to the ground. All so right. it's still burning, but I'm okay. not holding it. Mm-hmm. It takes a full action to like ready a crossbow or um yeah, it will take an action to like ready it for battle if you don't have it out. What are you doing? Yeah. See you did I, <coughs> did it, how far are we away from the big one? Um the room is roughly sixty feet. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I think that's all I can do. So I want to throw the torch on the ground so it's still like burning and it's starting okay. to burn web, but I want to ready my crossbow. Alright, cool. <laughs> so that's going to go ahead and be your turn. Sure. And I can't hold it and have a crossbow. So, you're going to be rolling for... Go ahead and roll a 20 for this. I have a freaking... Don't tell them, just use it later. Well, no, I could have used my bonus action to use my freaking spiritual weapon. Oh, yeah. Don't okay. forget that next time. Unfortunately, uh, it didn't. Well, I say unfortunately. Y'all are happy. Um, so the spider looks to Temzin, who has just shot it in the face, and another just glop of web hits the wall and covers part of the doorway behind you. That was a missile? That was a projectile, basically? Yeah. All right, and then the swarms of spiders converge on the party. <clears throat> yeah. Hold on, I'm just gonna put them on. It will take their action. It will take their action to get close to you guys, though, so they do not attack this turn. They just get to about here. Yes, the swarms are. It is a swarm of spiders. <laughs> you just need to remember from when you fought them ages ago that they have certain things that they are like immune to and resist. No, fire is not one of them. Listen, y'all, we need to get some <clears throat> stuff that, like, we need to get some ballistic rounds that we can throw at these things. So, Angrod, it's your turn. Um, I'm actually gonna skip over this one for right now. Okay. I'm gonna cast a firebolt on the pod, the egg pod that hasn't hatched that's closest to us. Okay, so the ones that have hatched would be this one uh-huh. and this one. Yeah. So the one on the on the right up there. This one? Yeah. All right. Casting a fireball. You cast that lightning. Oh my god! I can't roll tonight. Thirteen. That hits. And as this pod goes up, um, the you hear a lot of snapping and crackling, the same thing that kind of happened out in the forest when the webs and everything caught and these egg pods caught. And also the web immediately surrounding it catches, and so does that green puddle. And that green puddle just is a plume of fire, oh. and this acrid smoke oh, starts please. to fill the room. I need you all to roll a constitution check. Sorry, everybody. 
You, Safine, your head snaps over as this plume of fire goes up, and you are unfortunately one of the first to take a gasping inhale as the heat hits you, and you take one point of poisoning damage. Okay, okay, okay. Thirteen. Thirteen? Um, you're safe. Fourteen. Also safe. I got a save. Remember, it's taller, it's closer to the ceiling. <laughs> I need you to go ahead and... Actually, no, I'll roll into the damage for that one. You take three points of poisoning damage oh. as you inhale the smoke. Oh, oh damn. Now she doesn't have to five. 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 I'm going to wait. There's she just destroyed one egg. Thing. The one that is so the one that's completely crossed off is one that is destroyed. Uh-huh. The two smaller ones are the swarms that are still alive, and then there's another one. That's and there's another one at the back. Yeah, the one okay. right here is bigger. I'm gonna go ahead and cast um, guiding bolt again on the big spider. Okay. Are spiders immune to spider poison? Oh, shit. Somebody had to hit it and get advantage. That's immune. Yeah, but, like, nobody hit it on that round. They are not immune to being poisoned. Uh, By spider venom? Oh, yeah, Just yeah, poisoned yeah, yeah, yeah. in general. The next person gets advantage. Oh, because that would have super helped. Yeah. I'm sure okay. about that. They have to make a wisdom saving throw for it. What's the benefit of that? Of I mean, you are the next person, technically. Would she have advantage from her own spell? What it said, didn't it? Well, I thought it was your next turn you have advantage. No, whoever hits it next. Because <coughs> um, it's essentially glowing. It's oh, like a, okay. A bot behind that. Uh, it yeah. Like, yeah, you would. Type. But, it means, <laughs> but how does that work when it hits automatically? I don't know. Honestly, okay. I have no That's idea. Would you like to roll for the spider? Yes. Is there any benefit to poison You're rolling something? a wisdom saving throw. Probably not the spider. Yeah, that's it. 19. Yeah, okay. okay, well then I'm going to use my spiritual weapon as my bonus action. Okay. Friendship is a shelter and tree. 13 does not yeah. hit. 13 does not hit. So your hammer goes just whistling past it and it manages to like jerk a leg out of the way as it comes crashing past. Comes in. Her spiritual weapon didn't smash it? Nope. She missed. Oh, All right, then yeah, shoot it with another cross pull. Your spiritual weapon, once you make it shape, it keeps that shape until you pull it. I know, it. I should have specified it's at the swarm, because oh. <laughs> I was intending, but I didn't say that, so it was my fault. Okay. Um, what was I going to say? I don't know what I was going to say. Um, All right, those are the swarms right in front of us. Yep, on either side of you. Um, I'm gonna shoot the big spider with a crossbow again. Okay. Twenty-four. Ooh, la, la. Yeah, that that hits. Eleven. Good God. Note to self: make everything stronger next time. All right. Remember, it is your turn. Okay, I would like to shoot the big one in an eyeball, please. Go for it. I'm going to win. Son of a tie. What? And it's a ranged weapon, which it is. It's a crossbow. It's your dex mod, and then if you're proficient, and you're proficient. Okay, Okay. heard. That's a 14 to hit. That hits. Saving us. Honestly, what does it be? It looks like it's here. No, this one. This one? The dead one. I don't play Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, this one. Oh, that is going to be nine points of damage. Yes. Yeah. We're both shooting sh- the same thing. Hell yeah. Wait, is, is yours a plus seven to hit though? No, mine's plus three to hit. Oh. I'm not that I know, dexterous. Right? I, I didn't realize, realize, with me, like, I didn't realize like, crossbows had such a nice. Nice damage attached to them. My unarmed strikes are only 1d4 plus 5. The spider 
now charges forward. I straight for remember who's at the front of the pack. Are you doing this one? Mm-hmm. Oh, um, I would like to action search actually. Go for it. Okay. Aren't you glad you saved that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the solitary spider. A little bit. Oh, I would like to. Um, how far away from you would you say that this thing is? This spider is within 30 feet of you. Okay, so if I wanted to, like, throw my spear thing at its face, I could okay. probably do that, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm gonna do that. So, I would like to throw my spear at its face. Okay. Oh my god. It's a nine. You nine. miss. Nine. And it wedges itself firmly into the ground <coughs> towards its left. Well, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it. Just gonna say spears right there. Okay. All right. So the spider now charges forward. That is a 16 for remember. All right. So it comes up. <laughs> it's up there now. Why is it blue? Oh no! <laughs> well, Alright, so it comes charging forward and it, it just misses chomping at remember. <laughs> is it stomping I mean, on its babies? No. Uh, swarms are interesting because they can occupy the same space as another creature. Uh-huh. So where you guys can't stand, like, right on top of each other, a swarm can occupy the space of any other creature. If they're the same size as me or larger. You can occupy their same space? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Alright, so <laughs> now we are bothers. rolling for the swarms. So, swarm number one goes for Zephine. Okay, am I close enough to touch this? No, you're behind Remember. You could be close enough. You're close enough to touch a swarm that rolls for... To bite, bite. Uh, roll the 20. To bite, bite. Okay? And then you're going to roll 44. Oh, no. No, that's what Desiree's rolling. Oh, okay. I was like, I don't have that. I have a 4. Where did I? Yeah. There you go. This is gonna be so much fun to listen to later. You gonna roll this? One, two, three. Roll that one. Five points of damage. And it is piercing damage. I'm a nice spider. <laughs> Swarm number two rushes up to bite bite at Angera. No. <laughs> Twenty-one. Yeah. That's a little bit. Wait, how far Ooh. are we? Well, no, I'm not holding the shield. Ten points of bite bite damage as the spiders oh, swarm up your legs. Yeah. What do you call that piercing? Yeah, that's piercing. Then I take five points of damage. Oh yeah, you're yeah. fucking close. <laughs> <laughs> you're close. I thought all of them were like, ugh! Oh! <laughs> so the story behind that is that Angerod made a deal with someone. I bet you can't make my cloak super cool. And they were like, I bet I can. And they made it so that it has resistance to piercing damage. Which has it. So anytime something tries to like puncture pierce shaky or whatever, shake. it yeah. Okay. Shaky shake. Shaky shake. All right. It was bittersweet because I kind of hate the dude that made it for me, but it's a rat. Angra, yeah. it is now your turn. Yeah, it is. Um, we're gonna get this ice this time okay. instead of fire. So I'm gonna cast ray of frost. Ooh. Well, Did that I work last time. time? Now, keep in mind that this one back here is a considerable distance, so I don't know what your 
range is. That's almost 60 feet away. It's exactly 60 feet on this, though. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I could still do it. Yeah, you'd could still uh, be able could to. Could you freeze the puddles? Probably. That's not my voice. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, my voice. Excuse me. I'm, I'm just, it's rough tonight, y'all. I'm having a hard time. You're good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not my voice. I'm going to move. Okay. Back behind um, the scene and over to the other side. Yeah. Right there? Um, a little bit more. There? A little more. Okay. With more. Yeah, that's good. And then I'm going to go ahead and pass Ray of Frost at the last egg pod. All right. Um, so I will that one. I mean, that's not the worst one. I'm just slowly uh, collecting. Absolutely hits. Right. And then 10 points of damage. Okay. You see a thin film of frost ice over the egg pod and some of the surrounding webbing. Does it? Not you scary. can't really see anything. It, it's definitely frozen over. So it's not going to hatch anytime soon. Mm-mm. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to that. That's my turn. Okay. Jean, your turn. Can that light yellow one is this one? Light yellows are this one. Okay. I'm going to use Sacred Flame, and they have to make a deck save of 13. Okay. Um, so that's going to be Roll that. Okay. Nine. Okay. And then 1d8 of how much do I need? Upgrade it. I. Okay. And then I'm going to use my bonus action of my spiritual weapon to hit the same swarm. Why? Is it dead? No, it's not dead. It's very alive. It's doing this. Spiders are making that noise. I declare it because I am the spider. Okay. Oh! Just repeatedly. Twenty-three. Yeah, that absolutely. A really hit. tiny little voice. Oh! Horrible. That, that's like a worst nightmare. They are not dead, but you've killed you've killed a considerable number of them, but it's still considered a swarm. Three hundred of them. Ten kills. Spiders have a lot of babies. I mean, they do. It comes in. You're here. Gonna shoot the big old spiders right in front of me again. Okay. Twenty-four. That absolutely hits. Right in the eye hole. <laughs> Straight through to the brain. <laughs> Eight. Six. Six rounds. Mm-hmm. Ten. Ten rounds? Six seconds to a round. Okay. Round Thank you. Okay, close Eight damage. Round. Okay. Yeah. Um, you go ahead and you definitely, you hear the crack as your bolt actually goes through an eye and cracks part of the exoskeleton. What? Nice. Okay. okay. Remember, it's your turn. Okay, I would like to shoot him once again. So, go for it. In one of the other eyes. Which is not again. Okay. He's only got like two more. Oh yeah. my god! I can't stop rolling it's, sixes. Yeah. It's not hit. Does not hit. Your your bolt goes wide. But and in jail. remember, the... it's right in front of you. Don't you miss? <laughs> we gotta work on your aim. <laughs> I remember, like, throws. I cannot I see it. I'm easily blind. I'm just dust. <laughs> see, we gotta work right. on it. So, <laughs> so remember, if you put tall in it, you can learn how to read. <laughs> Alright, you're rolling to do My that. My father never taught me to do And you are attacking, remember. <laughs> Here goes 
Honestly, I'd be better if I just stood there holding my shield, because then I could use hey all my like, traits and shit. Desiree just rolled a nat 20. Aww. I'm so proud of you! <laughs> <laughs> who, wait, who, which, is it a swarm that rolled a nat 20? No, the big, the big <laughs> one. I'm very rolled. conflicted, but also very proud. All right, so you're doing good, honey. I hate you. So you're what good. you're going to do is you're going to roll one d eight, which is this one here. Okay, oh, it's not ready to go. It's more. Okay, just there. Um, use this one though. Or, that yeah, this one. Use that one. Um, and so it's gonna be one d eight plus three. That one's no, it's not. I thought I grabbed the No, this one is. I should grab my glasses. Um. Okay, so you're going to roll 1d8, add 3, and then you're going to double it. Uh, I'm going to be a rules person because I think that's going to be a lot of damage. Uh, the modifier does not double. Just the number off the dice. So you don't want me to double your stuff from now on, including your modifiers? I mean, technically that's how it works. You double the dice, but your modifier is just singular. So I should double the modifier too. I, okay, the way I always play it is you just double whatever the first number was, and that keeps everything. Yep. You just double whatever the first number was, that keeps everything. Help me up, fam. What'd you get? Nineteen points of damage. All right, I'm gonna use stones endurance. Um, you're also going to need to make a Constitution saving throw. Constitution saving throw is 16. Yes. So you take 2d8 half of damage for poison. There it is. Wait. Oh, so I succeeded on the so saving you... throw, so I took half damage from the poison? Mm -hmm. Alright, hold on. I'm going to use Stone's Endurance. Okay. So you reduce the damage dealt to you by 1d12 plus 2. Great. Or is it d12? I don't know what that looks like. It's, the, it's the small d12. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's 12 points, so you gave me what? I gave you 19, 19. plus yeah. 19 plus 8, or is that... Take the 12, take your initial one off of the 19, Seven. and then you're going... Okay, so then you're also going to take... Nine. Not, that's bored. <laughs> Nine points, uh, or... No, wait, that was half. Oh. So you're going to go ahead and take four points of poison damage oh, on wow. top of on top of what you actually took. You would have been dead by then. <laughs> I'm done. Ghost is dead. So that's 11 in total, right? Yeah, so oh. this massive spider goes and gets a bite and just wrenches a bite out of your shoulder. Cool. However, however, your badass armor take gives things how much that attack you? You're right. Hold on. Wait. I don't know if I have to I'm pretty sure it's 1d4. Yeah. Sure Kenzie has all the animation! I just gotta find it. Can you look at your rock? I'm in the sock. You're just gonna hear that in the background of this? Good. That was dumb. Hold on, let me see here real quick. I know I have it already. I gotta put that information in. Um, for now, since I'm not sure exactly where that. Because I have notes on that. It's just one point. It, it's just one point? Yeah, if, okay. if uh, specifically defending while wearing the armor, the attacking enemy takes one point. Okay. Alright, do that motherfucker. One point of damage. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious if it dropped dead after that, and it was like, oh, I'm vanquished, but you're fine. You just like, oh, just like slowly fading. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it gets a chomp. Chomp, chomp. Chomp, chomp. Like, fight. And now it is the swarm's turn. Swarm right. goes for. Uh, Safine. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> you told me I'm the worst until it comes it to the end. It was a natural 20 again. Is there? <laughs> 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 
We all died. Yes, all died. All right. We all gonna be bards. So, so like you're gonna go ahead and roll four d four, and then double that. <laughs> Hi, um, how are you gonna heal me if there's no healer? <laughs> <laughs> we have some healing potions, right? I have, yeah, I do. Like, at least one of us has oh, healing potions. Oh, I have three greater healing potions. I have one greater healing potion. Okay. I don't think I took any healing potions. Well, potions Fourteen healing greater, yeah. Fourteen points of piercing damage. Great. Well, I'm out. <laughs> You're at I'm zero? I'm at negative two. Oh, <gasps> shit. What? Yeah. So, Safine <laughs> is... Swarmed, no. just completely, oh almost entirely consumed. Just, yeah, like, you're the inferior spooky creature. And they go down. <laughs> Good. And where, where are they? Oh. Oh. It just gets louder. <laughs> yeah. So they're currently just swarming over Safine's prone body. 